Alright, this is Big Boss of Fox Sound Woodsball coming to you from Fort Lauderdale and to my blog page at outerheavenpaintball.blogspot.com and our friends over at Acid Tactical at acidtactical.com. You could check out the links in the description to this video. Now, the kit setup I've got here is pretty much early 2000s. You've got this would be similar to what American Infantry, both Army and Marine Corps, wore during the early days in both Afghanistan and in Iraq. This would be between the 2001-2003 time frame or a little afterward in 04 and 05 as well. As you can see, I'm wearing a airsoft version of the military interceptor vest, which is a modular tactical vest with the PALS webbing, but it's also a plate carrier. This was the early gen plate carrier. It came out with the Land Warrior system. However, as you can see, what I really want to bring out more are the magazine pouches and the pouch setup on this. As you can see, I got one modular magazine pouch here, two modular grenade pouches that could hold anything from a pack of smokes to a M67 frag grenade and two of your older generation LC2 magazine pouches. These can each hold 330 round Stanag mags, the 556 for your AR platforms, the Tavors, as well as any other rifle that could take Stanag mags or anything like that. Now, the focus of this video is going to be on not the pouches, not the vest or gear, but what is actually holding these pouches on because we know that you can't exactly hook the Alice clips into the PALS webbing that's on this interceptor vest. So what we have here is the way of holding these pouches these Alice pouches onto the Molly rig. It's going to be this thing. This is called a Alice to Molly adapter. On one side, which is the mounting side, you've got the Molly straps and the single Alice webbing. On the back, on the front, you've got the webbing that was made to work with the LC2 Alice clips. Now, this thing was designed as a stopgap measure post 9-11 because the military had a lot of the older Alice gear lying around and following the 9-11 attacks, we needed everything we can get our hands on, battle gear, body armor, helmets, and everything like that. So. The main priority for a lot of the manufacturers was the body armor and the helmets because we have already had enough rifles, carbines, and stuff like that in the inventory at that point. However, we we're at that point beginning to transition from the older LC2 Alice web gear, the LBV-88 tactical vest. We we're switching over to the FLC, the fighting load carrier, and the interceptor body armor system that was becoming standard issue at that point. However, we still had the Alice gear as we said, so we need to make that gear compatible with the new modular kit so that way it expands their service life and it was still something that the troops were familiar with that they could easily work with when they go into combat. So this thing became a stopgap measure but there are more uses for this particular item than what most would care to think about or would know about. For this video, I'm going to be discussing anything and everything you can do to make your use the Alice to Molly adapter, as well as what you can do to expand your own gear and adapt. It's not just to make your older Alice kit molly compliant there's a few other things you can do with this and i'll be talking about that as we move on through the video but first 
who works from our friends and sponsors over at Asset Tactical. You can check them out at AssetTactical.com. And just so you know, this rifle sling I'm using on this Alpha Black is an Asset Tactical 550 paracord sling. You can find this over at Asset Tactical. Links will be in the description to this video. And we'll be back right after this. Okay, we're back, and I forgot to mention in the beginning to this video that this isn't just about paintball and airsoft. This is something that can go across the board from your hunters, your preppers, your survivalist types, guys who are by your very nature gearheads. Some of us have to work on budgets, others have to allocate to more pressing matters as far as their prepper survivalist stuff goes. Either they're getting better camping gear, better equipment across the board, but generally speaking, and even in the worst case scenarios, you want to be able to have serviceable equipment, and in some cases, you want to be able to extend the service life of equipment you have in your inventory. Now, case in point, I got a Winchester Bowie knife. Now, the thing really isn't about the knife itself. It's about the scabbard. As you can see with the scabbard, this is also applicable to military issue combat knives like the iconic K-Bar. Now, it, they have this big belt loop on here so you can attach it to most belts you can find on the market from your standard BDU belts or pants belts or you can even loop this thing onto a full-sized military issue pistol belt this way you have the knife on hand if and when you need it but for all of us that are making the transition to the battle belts the war belts the duty belts you may still want to have that knife on your belt. Now, you could spend the money on a molly sheath for a knife, but those are made for specific knives, and you may have a knife that may not fit those particular scabbards, or you may have to have something custom made, and that costs a lot of money. Now, why spend the money on something like that when you can have something that's easily flexible or have something on hand that you can actually work with. Now, that brings up the Alice Molly adapter. Now, you can actually, because of the size of the belt loop, you can easily weave this thing into the belt loop of that knife scabbard and to further illustrate the point, I've got this 
Molly Dye felt adapted. This is from Defense Acquisitions. I did a review on this a while back. You can check the review out on that. I'll post a link into this video or add an annotation to it. But anyway, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave this thing into the Alice Smalley adapter. Well, I mean, weave it into the dive belt adapter to show how this thing works and how it sits. So that way it gives you an idea about your equipment, stuff like that. Now, keep in mind, this is one of those things that could be a stopgap measure if you're looking to buy a new scabbard for a knife anyway or you just like to have the scabbard you've got and you don't feel the need to replace it with something else you could easily use this stuff work it to your advantage and also have something that is more or less flexible so if you have to get new equipment anyway you can do that now, as you can see, this isn't exactly perfect, but case in point aside, you will still have real estate on your Molly rig to work with. And this is a little tight because of the layout of this adapter, but the general idea is still here. It is still sound enough just need to mangle it a little bit here and there but as you can see attached right onto the belt and you'd still be able to work this on your battle belts your duty belts so having something like this would definitely be beneficial if you were running a running one of those type of molly belts or you need to make this molly compliant now I also did this with a pair of Alice to molly adapters so let me grab that one I'll, I'll explain now a while back well this was years ago but I was experimenting with the adapters to make them more compliant for my old special ops paintball gear that interlocking velcro straps that go on to their line of vests from my old operative vests but try putting down my interceptor that didn't work but the thing was I took one of these adapters and I sliced out the stitching that was in the middle that would have worked with the Alice clips so that way I could actually have my knife scabbard on here, fit it to the vest on the top, and then I'd have this one here just slide into this adapter, and that way it made a solid platform to keep your knife scabbard secure on your vest. And that would keep it from going around. You could also do this on a leg rig. But generally speaking, this is set up for a vest. I've got a picture here of it. So let me pop that up real fast. Okay. Now, yeah, that was an old pick. It was done years ago and at that point when I did the video on that particular subject I was still getting more into doing videos and trying and pretty much still figuring out as I went along so with that out of the way another subject I talked about with these particular adapters is backward compatibility yeah seems kind of weird but it's feasible now when we talk backwards compatibility if you're like a tech nerd it's like a PlayStation 3 being able to play both PlayStation 2 and the original PlayStation 1 games but on the PS3 console now it's also if you're using a 
newer generation of Windows operating system that you can still run certain programs that were used for the older generation of Windows operating systems, but the same concept can be applied to tactical equipment. Now, there was a lot of older military equipment that still had the little prongs that fit into the eyelets of the GI issue pistol belt. So that's why we still see these little eyelets on the GI pistol belts today. We still have, we can still run the LC2 Alice suspenders, both military issue and commercial manufacturer through those eyelets on those belts, but that was just an example. But as far as the reverse compatibility, the backwards compatibility goes, to save myself a little time, I rigged up an Alice Tamale adapter into this Molly magazine pouch. I got this particular one with my Molly 2 medic vest. Now, as you can see, flip the pedals, straps over. I've got the Alice side, which would be facing outwards, so that way I can run the Alice gear into here to wear on a Molly vest. I did the reverse. I fit the Molly side into the pals webbing on this mag pouch. So as you can see, got the pals webbing going here and here, so that way you can weave this thing into a tactical platform such as a molly vest, a battle belt, drop leg molly platform, whatever. Now, I rigged it up like this so that way I could make this thing compatible with the older generation of LC2 combat belts that you could still work with because if you look at some of the vests that are molly on the market, they still run the LC2 pistol belt for one reason or another. One, it's probably cheaper. Two, it allows you to use a mix of both types of equipment. So, that out of the way. Pop in the Alice clips. As you can see. And then, let's grab a pistol belt. Now, with backwards compatibility, the way this thing is set up, even though it's a little bit of a tight fit fitting it on, you can still do it. And now, I just made this magazine pouch Alice compliant. That way I could still use this pouch on my gear rig if I choose to just run with the pistol belt. With that particular setup this allows you to increase the flexibility of your molly kit if you just want to run a belt and not have to buy a battle belt or a war belt or a molly belt sleeve to put over your old pistol belts. That's another thing. Now, one of the other ideas I did was weaving it into my TIPX holster. Now, I did that years ago. It works, but it is a nightmare to try and fit that thing through. But I was able to do it, and I have some a picture or two of it on my interceptor vest. So, let me pull up those pictures real fast. Give me one second. Yeah, I know. The, those pictures of the TIPX was pretty much my earlier days as far as learning how to improvise your equipment and everything. I apologize, my I'm a little zoomed in right now because there's a piece that I 
forgot to mention for the coup de gras for this particular video and it's going to be the hydration carrier now for any of us that like our tactical vests a lot of us can't we're starting out in paintball airsoft or other military style stuff or have been in the service and we still like the lbb 88 platform now granted this is a molly 2 medic vest however its design is still extremely based on the LBB-88 design. Now, there is no molly in the back, on this back panel, or on the shoulders. However, there are many of us that have run this system and have used the older generation camelback carriers and stuff like that to carry our hydration systems on us or just use the canteens. Now for me, I like having a self-contained system. So one of the ideas I worked up is this is also backward compatibility you might say as well, but notice here on the back piece of the LBB-88 Molly 2 Medic system, you have these little slots right here which you can fit Alice clips in. This was set up so that way you can run a Alice butt pack or other Alice gear on the back. But you also have these loops here. You've got two of them so that way you could run your hydration lines. You can run your comms wires if you're running communications equipment. And you also have a slot or two right here for Alice clips. So, what I've got here is my RAP4 hydration carrier in Woodland. As you can see, I got the CO2 pouch rigged up here into the Molly. Now, as you can see, this thing was designed to fit onto most Molly platforms as far as your vests go. But, I can actually run it on this LBB-88 style vest. Now, this is one of the things I talked about with reverse compatibility. I'm also rigging up an additional Alice to Molly adapter so that way my point can be further illustrated. Now, this is one of the things I talked about with reverse compatibility because there's additional Molly real estate in the center of this vest. You could actually use Malice clips. You could use Blackhawk speed clips for a secure fit if you're running this on a Molly platform. But if you're running this on a older generation Alice style platform, such as this Molly 2, as far as the back part is concerned, or you're running it on a older generation of the LBB88 system, you can actually hook this bladder piece on as a additional piece, gives your, you your ability to run your hydration bladder, you could run additional molly pouches on the back if you're doing a CQB mission. Now with that being said, one of the ways to do it, now that I got this thing hooked up here, right? As you can see, the additional real estate here and here in the center of these pouches allows you to secure it down further with the Malice clips, the Blackhawk speed clips, or just use the Molly attachment points as provided on this vest. Plus you got the D-rings here, you can hook into something, but we're actually running this on the LBB-88 system. So, for this particular setup, you'll need two Alice Tamale adapters, and you'll need four Alice clips. And for all you guys that don't know, these are Alice clips. These were around with the 
early gen LBEs that we were using in Vietnam. But I digress, that's a story for another time. Or you can just look up my web gear video. I mean my web gear article. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two Alice clips here and I'm going to actually slide them right in here where this US marking is. Deep, deep. Then, as far as the adapter goes, I'm just going to slide it in onto the Alice side because the Molly side is already hooked into the carrier and just feed these in. Make sure that your Alice clips are secure on the bottom. Now what I originally did was I took the this strap here from the Molly side and just weaved it in. But with the Alice clips on here, I could easily hook it up for a more secure fit onto the back of this LBB system. You can see it's a little tricky with these used clips, but it still serves the purpose. I continue, let's let me show you if these things will actually work right. As you can see, this is narrow enough so that way it's going to provide that secure fit. And they actually fit quite well right here in the center piece that goes right across your back on this particular vest platform. there and we can just slide these into the Alice side of the Alice Tamale adapter and there we go we've secured the we secured the hydration bladder system using Alice Tamale adapters and Alice clips and made your hydration system an integrated part of your tactical vest system. This is something that could easily be done. If you have the straps here, you can just weave those in, snap them in place, and your gear is definitely going to be secured. Now, you can check out a written version of this over at outerheavenpaintball.blogspot.com. I will post the link in the description to this video. Anyway, this is Big Boss, and I'm out of here.